You know them, you love them, but you can't decide which one is best for you. Or maybe you just want to know how different they are. Lucky for you, I'm here to help. After watching this video, you'll know precisely how a Maine Coon compares to a ragdoll cat and what are their specific needs. Let's start. History. Maine Coons and Ragdolls were both developed in the United States, but there is a considerable difference between them. Maine Coons are one of the oldest cat breeds in the world. They've been around for centuries, and there are a lot of myths and legends surrounding their origin. On the other hand, Ragdolls are somewhat of a new addition. Their history begins in the 1960s, and it's full of controversy. It's actually the most fascinating cat breed history ever. Due to this, Ragdolls were officially recognized as a breed in 2000. Even so, they're one of the most popular cat breeds in the world, and for a good reason, since their personalities are adorable. If you want to learn all about Ragdoll's origin, make sure to watch this video afterward. But let's get to know these breeds even better and learn about their possible ancestors. Some say Maine Coons descend from Norwegian forest cats, another ancient breed. In my opinion, they look more similar to Siberian cats. Some also believe they come from bobcats, which I talk about in this video. Ragdoll's possible ancestor is the Turkish Angora, but there's no way to tell if this is true. That's because Ragdoll's descended from a non-pedigreed outdoor cat. We know so far these magnificent breeds probably don't share the same ancestors, which surely makes things interesting. And now, let's talk about their looks. When it comes down to appearance, Ragdolls and Maine Coons are pretty different. Ragdolls are color point cats, having darker extremities, but they also sport modified color point patterns. Here are the four different looks a ragdoll can display. Also, a ragdoll's eyes can only be blue. Maine Coons, on the other hand, come in most colors, but they can't be color point cats. Their eyes can be of any color, and they're in tune with their coats. So if you're into color point cats, go for ragdolls. Fun fact, both breeds can display torty coats, even if in ragdoll's case, only their extremities will be torty. Plus, mitted ragdolls can have a blaze on their foreheads. Cute. There is one crucial difference I want to point out, their muzzle shape. Maine Coons have have strong rectangular jaws, while Ragdoll's muzzles are softer. So if you're into powerful looking cats, go for Maine Coons. What are their coats like? They're both fluffy fellows, as you can clearly see. Both breeds are gifted with silky coats, even if the Maine Coons fur appears shaggy. That being said, Maine Coons have a thicker undercoat than Ragdoll's. And no, they're not so low maintenance as you might read on the internet. From my research and comments on my other videos about them, it seems it's easier to care for them when they're young. However, after they grow their adult fur, things become trickier. Both breeds can form mats, so proper brushing sessions several times a week will be needed. In the case of ragdolls, you have a higher chance of getting a low-maintenance cat, but be prepared for the worst case, size. Let's face it, both cats are big fellows. Maybe that's why people are so crazy about them. Ragdolls tend to weigh between 10 and 20 pounds, while Maine Coons weigh between 12 and 22 pounds. However, it's far more common for Maine Coons to reach high higher weights than for ragdolls. Also, Maine Coons are way longer than ragdolls, and their tails are longer as well. Fun fact, as these breeds are large, they take a while to reach their full size, three to four years for ragdolls and three to five years for Maine Coons. Either way, you'll get a pretty big kitty, so make sure you have the space required. Personality. Great, we got to everyone's favorite part, their personalities. Even if they're both large cats, Maine Coons and Ragdolls are different in terms of behavior. Maine Coons and Ragdolls are pretty mellow when it comes down to their owners handling them. They're affectionate breeds that strive for affection and attention and are intelligent. Additionally, they're not aggressive toward their owners, including toddlers. That being said, Ragdolls tend to do a bit better with tiny, adventurous humans. Still, there is a huge difference between them. Maine Coons are more energetic than ragdolls. And before you say anything, I'm talking about adult cats here, not about fussy kittens. Kittens are crazy, no matter what. But back to their way of being. Maine Coons are much more prone to becoming mischievous than ragdolls. In other words, ragdolls are more laid back. They're also more mellow with other cats. Even if Maine Coons generally get along with other cats, they're far more concerned with defending their territory when a new cat shows up. So if you want a cat that accepts other kitties more quickly, go for a ragdoll. 
all. But what about dogs? Both cats are suited for dog owners, but Maine Coons tend to do better in this chapter. That's because they're more energetic than ragdolls and are more prone to playing rough than the latter. They're also larger, which is another plus. Needs To know which one is best for you, we'll have to take a deeper look at their temperaments. As I mentioned before, Maine Coons have more energy than ragdolls and are more playful. And this comes with a consequence. Maine Coons need more attention from you than ragdolls. Basically, you'll need to make time to entertain your cat until your kitty becomes tired. Otherwise, your Maine Coon will most likely become mischievous. Remember, these are brilliant cats we're talking about, so they'll figure out in no time that bad behavior gets your attention. Also, Maine Coons are very fond of the outdoors. Ideally, you should have a space to build them a safe cat enclosure. If not, make sure you live in a quiet neighborhood to take your cat on leash walks. Even if many people leave their cats outside unsupervised, I don't advise you to do so. There are many dangers out there for a cat, even for a Maine Coon. Ragdolls, on the other hand, don't need as much playtime. They'll display short bursts of energy every now and then, but nothing too crazy. If anything, you'll most likely have to make sure they get enough exercise. They will also appreciate an outdoor enclosure, but it's not really a must. What about cat trees? Well, it's said that Maine Coons are ground dwellers, and ragdolls aren't known for their climbing abilities. However, I'd say almost every cat would be much happier with a good old sturdy cat tree. Health Issues and Lifespan We still have to go through one more topic before discussing dollar bills. Their health. Typically, Maine Coons live a bit less than ragdolls. Ragdolls tend to live anywhere between 14 to 16 years, while Maine Coons live 13 years on average. That's because they're prone to more health issues than ragdolls, and HCM might affect them more. Sadly, HCM can also be inherited by ragdolls. Typically, a cat can get HCM even if she isn't a carrier of the gene causing it. In the case case of ragdolls, there seems to be a test that detects the ragdoll-specific HCM mutation, but you'll have to consult with a veterinarian to know for sure. What I highly suggest is to avoid backyard breeders that offer low prices. Go instead for respectable breeders, or better yet, consider adopting a cat. Price Let's see how much you'll have to pay for a pedigreed cat. Maine Coons typically cost between $1,000 and $3,000. Ragdolls, on the other hand, are priced between $1,000 and $2,000. There are many factors involved when establishing a kitten's price, and each cattery is different. As always, make sure to avoid scammers or unscrupulous backyard breeders. Conclusion So which one should you get? Well, both breeds are amazing. They're big, fluffy, and gorgeous. While I believe your cat's aspect is important, it's crucial to get a cat that fits perfectly into your lifestyle. So if you have a big home and are an energetic person with lots of spare time, go for a Maine Coon. Also, if you have dogs, Maine Coons are a great option. But if you're more of a stay-at-home-and-watch-TV type of person, get a ragdoll instead. Ragdolls don't require much effort from you as far as exercise is involved, and they love to chill just as much. However, do consider that both breeds require grooming, and you might get an individual with very high grooming needs. But if you want to know everything about these breeds, make sure to watch my one-on-one -on -one videos about them. They're in the description and also on the screen. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.